Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install N8N on Portainer slash Docker Compose, which is Stacks and Portainer. So, uh, this series is about going over starting a smartphone from scratch. So, I'm going to go over installing the uh, the hardware software and then getting into to the home automations, everything like that. So, if you like that, uh, subscribe, comment, like, and let's get started. So, the NADN, uh, you can go to NADN.io, I'll link it down in the description, and uh, this is about it. So, build complex automations 10 times faster without fighting APIs. So, this is where you're going to connect uh, different boxes together, and it's like uh, work workflows. It's pretty neat. It's self-hostable. That's what we'll be doing today. We'll be installing on Portainer Stacks, which is Docker Compose underneath the hood. So, um, it shows you a little bit about it. How you can integrate in any in app, bulk operations, and then this isn't just helpful tools, hard of your business, so you can use it for your business too, instead of just a home. Um, and uh, so it has 387 integrations, so you can install with Philips Hughes, uh, Postgres. Um, pusher there's all kinds of different things G the Google Apps um, pretty neat okay so let's get to installing it I'm gonna show you the github that the active development is on one hour ago it was updated so it is active and then it's automation tool so you just connect it together with boxes and you drag them around and then you connect them you can do if statements and we're going to install with Docker here. So now that you know about it, uh, I created a Docker Compose. So I'm going to copy this and I'll link this down in the description of my gift. And I'm going to go over to um, Portainer and we're going to start at home. And if you don't know how to install Portainer, I did a video on it. I'll link it down in the description so you can go to it. Um, so Let's go to local and then I'm going to go to stacks over here and then I'm going to add a stack right here and then I'm going to name the stack NADN stack and then um, so I'm going to paste in here and I'm going to start with docker compose version 3 then I'm going to go to services and then docker compose is where you link services together uh, and different docker containers and uh, I'm going to name the service NADN I'm going to use the image from the official nadn.io docker, uh, docker container. So I'm going to set the ports on the local side to 5678. I'm going to set it in the container at 56782. So local side here and then the, in the container. So now I'm going to set the environments. So I'm going to set a generic time zone to my time zone. I'm going to set it to uh, t uh, the time zone, my time zone here. So generic and then the time zone. Okay, now I'm going to um, scroll on down. And I'm going to say deploy stack right here. And then you should see your stack deployed. And I'm going to go in here. And um, you can see it did publish the ports on the local side and the container side. So um, it pulled the image. It looks like it's running. So running for a few seconds. So it looks like it is running successfully. So now you can go over to logs and you can see it did start up. So it looks like it's ready to run. So let's go over to um, the port 5678 so let's go over to so so you're going to get the setup owner account right here and you're going to skip the setup but you can set up an owner account I'm not going to right now but I'm going to skip the setup and you can 
you can fill out and all this if you want to and say get started so this is where you add a step you can add a trigger over here and then um so you can add a web hook then you put in the information then you go ahead and add an action or a flow so you can get you can add an if statement and then it just keeps on going and going true and false and then you link it to another node right here you can go and you can go in here and say extract some html content so as you can see it's pretty neat and you can easily move it around and you can execute the workflow down here you can also um I'm gonna go leave without saving. So you can start from scratch right here. You can also use workflow templates. So you can go in here and you can see a template that created. And then you can see uh, this template is to where you can create off of it and get ideas. So it, it says a synopsis on how you use it and you can just execute it if you want to. and it's waiting for the, the test URL to be called. So I'm gonna go over to um, credentials, and this is where you put in your different um, cl cloud credentials uh, to link APIs together. So you can go down here, Dropbox, there's different ones. So you can fill those in and, and have APIs to link into. Variables are enterprise plan only. And then it keeps up with all your executions that you've done. You can go up here to filters and you can filter it. Um, so let's go over to settings. So you can see I'm on the community edition because that's what we installed. We have zero of unlimited active workflows. So you have users right here to where you can set up your, uh, your owner account. You can do that if you want to. And then um, you go back over to settings, then you can go to LDAP, that's enterprise only, enterprise only. But you can also go in here and you can go to uh, install community nodes and this will take you to NPM. So that's how to install NADN on Docker Compose, which we're using Portainer as the UI. So that's how to get NADN working on Portainer and it's using Portainer stacks, so it's using Docker Compose underneath, and it just abstracts away the command line and makes it where you have the UI on Portainer. So uh, if you like my tutorials, co uh, subscribe, comment, like, and um, if you need any support, you can go join the Big Bear community down below. Uh, th there's a link down there, and also you can comment on uh, my videos, and I'll be glad to try to help you as much as possible. So stay tuned for more.